International Film Festival The Hague. Rolling. Uh, my name is Brian Henderson. Uh, I'm very excited to be here at The Hague with our film Note of Defiance. Uh, came all the way from Los Angeles and uh, looking forward to sharing this beautiful documentary story of performance artists in the eastern Ukrainian city of Kharkiv, uh, just 40 kilometers from the Russian border. It's a, it's a documentary film, yes. Um, I, I would love to say that the film was was challenging and it was a very like rough and tumble war documentary. Uh, it's it's not, frankly, it was a, a, a quite easy film to make and it was easy because the talent was there. The the subjects were so wonderful and so talented and so welcoming uh, that it actually ended up being a very easy film to make. The most difficult part was was making the commitment to go there in the first place. But once that decision was made, uh, everything else really did come together. Um, actually, the we say there's three characters in our movie. There's Roman, there's Vier, and the third character is the opera house itself. Uh, that wasn't even really the plan going into the film. It really just came to us. Uh, every shooting day we would have a plan and that plan would change for some reason or another and we'd always end up back at the Opera House as our location for the day. Um, so that is the third character that came to us. Uh, so in a sense, it, you know, the, the, most, the most challenging films to make are the ones where people are maybe uncollaborative or you're trying to take a story that is not powerful and you're trying to turn it into something that it isn't. It isn't. Uh, we didn't have that problem. We had very collaborative talent. Um, we had a story that was incredibly compelling. Um, so from a filmmaking perspective, um, the process is actually quite easy. The art, the art was very easy. It's that's the biggest compliment I can get as a filmmaker is to have, uh, to have your subjects trust you um, with their lives and, and to come to you and say, hey, this is my life. This is my story. Take this and please share this with the world. And so the fact that they they entrusted us with that is a very humbling experience. Yeah, being being a director DP on a project like this, I mean, it does certainly have challenges. What what made it easy is I did have a co cinematographer. I brought my great friend Mac Woodruff with me. Um, so as my as my co cinematographer, um, I was able to lean a bit more on directing. Um, whereas if I was ju it was just me shooting it and directing, it, um, would have been difficult. Um, it is it's easier on documentary I think than it is on. Um, on like a narrative, especially, or commercial. Uh, but given that the team was so small, uh, it's just basically both of us just holding cameras at all times. Um, but yeah, it, it is hard, you know, it's... I think the harder thing is is um, trying to be a director when you're a cinematographer at heart. As a cinematographer, you're, you're focused so much on the imagery um, that sometimes there's the, the aspects of working with talent that feel a bit unnatural. Um, so making sure I was spending time as a director to, to pull out story as well as the imagery. But the way I work as a cinematographer also I think complements that is I, I try as a cinematographer to, uh, uh, to tell stories through images and that's the job. It's not about making a pretty image, it's about conveying a story through imagery. Um, so in a sense that is a, it's a director photographer, it's a directorial job. So I think if you find the right balance, these two roles aren't in conflict, they actually complement each other. Well, I hope the independent film industry can continue to grow. Um, I think it's it's really special because there's there's the ability to be more localized. I think with independent film, you're you're not necessarily focused on investing massive amounts of money to make a story that the whole world can connect with. You can afford to be a bit more localized and tell the stories of people who are often overlooked. And that's what we chose to do with the film. Is um, you know, I made this film because I wanted to tell the story of people that I wasn't hearing from. I wasn't seeing their faces on CNN or ABC or wherever. Right. I um, so I was able to go and, and bring this story to light because I wasn't seeing them anywhere else. I think that's what independent film is all about, is the ability to tell stories of overlooked peoples. Um, whether it's a narrative or a documentary format, um, I think that will only continue to grow and we will continue to hear more and more from uh, voices that are often not represented in, in studio filmmaking. We're, we're really excited to be here. Um, the, the Hague is a, a wonderful place. It was important for our film to be here. Uh, it's the international city of, of peace and justice. Um, we think those films really resonate in, in, our, in our film. 
um, and we would really, really love to, to see people here from around the city, from around the Netherlands. Uh, it's a really special festival. Um, I spent the evening talking to a lot of the, the filmmakers here. It's a very impressive group of people.